Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there is another formula. Uh, it's a geometry formula that I'm trying to motivate here. Let's pretend you're on a road and you see mile marker 6 and then mile marker 10. And if I asked you the number that was mid midway between the two numbers, and this, this is just a line segment, okay? But if I said find the number that was midway between the two numbers, well, it's not that hard to tell me the answer is 8, correct? I mean, obviously. 8 is midway in between 6 and 10. But here's what I want you to really see. If I said, show me some work, a lot of people are like, well, I don't have to show work. No, you don't have to, but I'm explaining to you that if you know how to show work here, when I turn the problem into a two-dimensional problem, where I'm on graph paper, it's easier to do. So let's go back to a number line. If this is 6 and this is 10, 8 is midway in between. And the way I can get 8 is by taking 6 and adding 10 to it and dividing by 2. 16 divided by 2 gives me 8. So the way I actually got the midway number here is by averaging the endpoints. And remember what average means. Add and divide by 2, okay? So whenever you come up with what's called the midpoint formula from now on in my course or any other course, I want you to think of one word, average, okay? That is the key word that I want you to think of. And to average two numbers together, you add them and you divide by 2. So, if I ask you to state the midpoint formula, all we're doing is we're taking this to two dimensions. If I have the ordered pair, I'll write it a little bigger for you. If I have the ordered pair x1, y1 as this endpoint, and for the endpoint of this segment, I have x sub 2, y sub 2, and I want to know what the coordinates are of the midpoint, which is the point that's midway between the two of them, the way I get that, the way I get that ordered pair is I average. So, the x value here was x sub 1, this was x sub 2. How do I average? I add and I divide by 2. How do I average the y coordinates? Well, I add them and I divide by 2. And this formula that you're looking at right here is another formula that I want you to put in your memory banks, and that is called the midpoint formula. And remember, a midpoint has an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate because we're, on, we're virtually in two dimensions. We're on graph paper. And to get the x-coordinate, you add the other, you add the x-coordinates of the endpoints together and you divide by 2, and you do the same for the y. So, midpoint formula has nothing to do with subtracting. It only has to do with adding. Okay? All right. So, that is called the midpoint formula, and I want you to put it in your brain and put the word average along with it.